Rolls-Royce powered aeroplane takes off or lands every 25 seconds around the world. Rolls-Royce's turbofan Trent XWB engine generates 50,000 horsepower at takeoff, equivalent to the power of about 500 cars. How do Rolls-Royce design such engines? A major part of the design is done with computer models. These programs simulate highly complex multi-physics phenomena and engineering designs and require the use of high-performance computing systems, supercomputers. Companies such as Rolls-Royce critically depend on high-performance computing for designing modern aero engines and their continued development for improved efficiency. Recent global commitments to achieve reduced emissions targets have placed unprecedented challenges on aero engine designs, demanding a fundamental change to engine architectures, including designs that utilise sustainable aviation fuels, electric and hybrid flight. Virtual certification of engine designs, the detailed simulation of aero engines through computer models and validation and approval for flight by the aviation authorities, is recognised as a key technology to meet these goals. However, such analysis requires significantly higher fidelity than currently done in industry, using ultra-large scale models, while at the same time providing exceptional levels of trust in the accuracy of the simulations. Full engine simulation is a major goal of the virtual certification process, where the flow through the engine forms a key component of the analysis. In a gas turbine engine, cold air entering the engine at atmospheric pressure is compressed in the order of 50 to 1 by three spools of compressors, before it is delivered to a combustion chamber where the liquid fuel spray is injected and ignited. The hot gas exhaust from the resulting combustion provides the thrust that drives the turbines which, in turn, spin the compressor and fan. The majority of thrust that propels the aircraft is produced by the fan, while the hot air exhaust after combustion also contributes to the total thrust. As a step towards virtual certification, in this work we concentrate on one particular engine component, the high pressure compressor. In this SC22 scientific visualisation and data analytics showcase, we visualise the time accurate, unsteady computational fluid dynamics simulations of a high pressure compressor test rig, the RIG 250 from the German Aerospace Centre, DLR, to understand the factors affecting operation during a typical engine flight cycle. The RIG 250 at DLR is a four and a half stage high pressure compressor test rig and is representative of the high pressure compressor in a modern aero gas turbine engine. The CFD mesh consists of 4.6 billion elements in a full 360 degree model of the compressor, a mesh and problem size representing a grand challenge problem, going beyond the fidelity requirements for virtual certification and realised for the first time within a tractable time to solution running on the Archer 2 supercomputer at EPCC. A key parameter to analyse is the flow velocity through the compressor. Due to viscosity, the air passing over each blade develops a boundary layer next to the surface. The width of the boundary layer increases along the blade until it reaches the trailing edge, where it forms a separation in the flow, also known as a wake, that propagates downstream. The flow within the boundary layers and wakes is turbulent and unsteady. Overlaid on this is the periodic unsteadiness due to the relative motion of the rotors and stators. The velocity contours towards the rear of the compressor show high levels of unsteadiness. This is due to the wakes propagating a long way through the compressor and the mixing of successive wakes, which creates a high degree of turbulence. This is consistent with experimental data and points to the high resolution of the simulation and its quality, enabling these phenomena to be captured. The Mach number, which is the ratio of the flow velocity to the speed of sound, is another important parameter to visualise in the compressor. A Mach number of 1 indicates a local velocity equal to the speed of sound. In this simulation of the RIG 250, the Mach number contours also show how the wakes propagate and are cut by the rotors. Of interest is the flow around the stage 1 stators, which show much thicker boundary layers than the other stators, and also frequent separations within the stator passage. The simulation here confirms the off-design conditions tested, the stator 1 is a variable vane and at off-design conditions, the variable vanes are set to a higher angle of attack to prevent the compressor stalling. This can be seen by the fact that the boundary layers of the downstream stators are relatively more stable. Again, this is consistent with our experimental understanding of compressors. 
Zooming into stator 3, we can see the unsteady shock waves that form on the suction side of the stator. These propagate upstream and interact with the rotor wakes. The rotor stator interaction causes the shock waves to move forward along the stator and new ones to form. The high degree of unsteadiness is again due to the off design condition at which the simulation was run. Visualising isosurfaces of vorticity, which is a measure of the local rotational motion in the three-dimensional flow field, highlights the three-dimensional structure of the wakes behind the blades. Flow separations occur further towards the trailing edge of the blades, and we also see evidence of separations occurring where the blades join the end walls. The results presented in this SC22 scientific visualisation and data analytics showcase were achieved through recent work at the University of Warwick and Rolls-Royce. This work is part of an ongoing push towards virtual certification of production aerogas turbine engines by Rolls-Royce through the UK EPSRC Prosperity Partnership for Advanced Simulation and Modelling of Virtual Systems, ASIMOV. <laughs>